It's very normal. And honestly, I think if anything, it has been a source of inspiration and pride. He never fails to fight. He, files for, he fights for progress. He fights for liberty, for justice, and for equality. If they did... Oh, so, oh sorry. <laughs> so those people that think they know my father should know that he will never be silenced by blackmail and intimidation. He lost his position once, you know. He was suspended from CBN. And I remember, I don't know if you remember the famous quote where he said, you can suspend a man, but you can never suspend the truth. And one of, so one of his favorite quotes is from the meditations of Marcus Aurelius. Whenever confronted with a choice between what is right and what is popular, you must always do the right thing. He taught us, and I know he does not mind being the most unpopular emir so long as he speaks the truth. As for the throne, he always says it is God who gives power and only God takes it away. When God says your time is up, it is up. And before then, no one can do anything about it. I'm sure my dad would love to remain an emir for the rest of his life. After all, it was all he wanted to be. But I know he will not at all cost. I remember my first year at the African Leadership Academy, he got an award. He was given um, the Man of Integrity. And to me, that was when integrity started having a meaning. You know, it's doing the right thing no matter the consequences. So I know that if my father has to choose between the throne and his conscience, he will happily give up the throne. He has already accomplished his ambition of succeeding his forefathers and frankly is the same person I knew as a banker and as a central bank governor. As an emir, he has not changed and will be the same person even as an ex even as an ex emir if it comes to that. But he will not be silenced that much, I know. And we as a family are all behind him and whether or not he's whether or not he's in the arena. This is our battle to fight and we are determined to win. Not just his immediate family, I mean all of us. Thank <laughs> you.